welcome guys and welcome back to another video it's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another video on hack and touch so this video is basically on clever configurator and this video is how to get started with hack and touch and technically it's a starter video for all those who are going to uh, build a hack and touch for their professional works or for fun so it's been a long time that I have been making videos on Clever Configurator. I did a uh, five or six video series pre back in 2018, but in 2019 there's been a lot of different stuff going on with uh, Clever Configurator, with Bootloader, Clever Bootloader, and many new hardware is released. So I think that they, this is the best time for making a new Clever Configurator and Clever Bootloader a hack and touch starter video for you guys in 2019 and i will try to continue this series my whole year and i'll try to uh, add every new thing that comes out with clever configurator in this video series and i will tell you the most minute details about how to get a hackintosh working to the most common things you need to build a hackintosh so this video is technically the startup video for all those who are going to build a hackintosh in 2019 and in this video i will tell you the basic hardware you should choose and the clever configurator how to use that clever configurator and how to uh, choose the operating system and what different things you need to get your hackintosh build complete so this uh, i will not explain everything in this single video but it will be a series of videos on this single topic so let's start with our basic topic before we go to the hardware our I think it should it will be better I tell you about the software so let's start let's go to the screen and here this is basically the clever configurator user interference or GUI so you basically need this software for everything you do on your Hackintosh and with this software there is an additional software which is the core or the basic back backbone for this software to run which is clever bootloader and for that it comes in version it's clever v2.4k and this is the basic software you need to have to get a working hackintosh and how you get this is you open the software and you go next and next and then you install the this software on a target drive so how will you get a target drive target drive can be any usb you have and any usb you have and a mac os in your application folder so this is for those who have a mac uh, mac system already that will be like super easy for them to get a hackintosh bootable usb installer so what you have to do is let's take this out what you have to do is you need to download two software one is clever configurator you this one the second one is a clever package or clever bootloader and then you need a usb let's suppose i have a pre-built usb let me plug it okay i have a usb with four partitions on it as you can see so one is for Mojave, other one is for Sara, and one is for High Sierra. So once you have four partitions, or you can just go with one partition on your USB. And how you do this is you go to Clover, you go here in your disk utility, and then you just erase and you format your drive in Mac OS Extended, and you select the scheme as GUID Partition Table and after that you format it and a new single drive will appear and then there is a small command which you can get from apple itself so so what you do is when you get this you go here and you copy this sudo command this command and you paste this command over terminal so if you paste this command over terminal
it will ask your password and then you can format any drive so right now it cannot find any drive with name OS X because I have not named any drive OS X you can just write the name of the drive itself so after that it will install the Mac OS you have here in your disk utility you have here in your launchpad or in the application folder of your OS X drive and once that is done you have to install the clever package over it so you go there you change install location and I go with for example Mojave and then after continue we click customize and you select UEFI booting only and the other one is install clever in the ESP so after this it will make your USB a bootable USB for any system which is UEFI portable so you can just take out the USB and then you can go and plug it into any motherboard which supports UEFI and it will start booting and it is the same procedure you have to do to make your even own hard drive bootable as well so after that you click install and it will install so once this package is installed you click here and you go here and then you mount you mount your drive EFI partition and then starts the real trick so you can go here and you can also open it go here clever and this config.plst file is the basic file which tells the Mac OS that on which system it is running so it basically fix all the settings of a real Mac to the Mac OS on your Hackintosh and from here you select many different options for many different stuff this is the area for SSDT patches you add any patch you add name for here and boot graphics and there are too many things for one video so just go here in SMBIOS and now here you can see my clever configurator is telling my Mac OS that it is a product model iMac 18 comma 3 and if I go here you can see so it is basically faking all the details here over here all right and and after that you are you have to go in here and then there are few different things you need to know so we have drivers on Windows and we have text on Mac and on Mac OS X CACs do all the work that a single driver can do but they are kind of a different than drivers they are uh, they run with kernel and they run like with the Mac OS X every time and they are very important for everything we do for the Hackintosh and every Hackintosh need some custom designed CACs to work perfectly on the custom motherboard we use so these are the drivers we need to boot and these are like more than enough we can run our system with few of them as well these are kex and then there are driver for your bootloader itself the clever bootloader itself needs some drivers to work and these are the drivers you need to make your system work on a z270 or z370 or 390 motherboard and these are the drivers and these drivers are for the clever bootloader not for the mac itself or mac os x itself so that was the introduction to the software section of the hackintosh and in the next video i will tell you about different hardwares the storage you can use the memory you can use the motherboard the cpu you basically can use to build a custom hackintosh and i will also tell you the best combination of hardware you can buy to get the most suitable working Hackintosh for your system and depending on your workload you can design that specific machine and it won't give you any trouble booting up and it will be like 99.9% .9 stable and secure I'm using a Hackintosh, Hackintosh from last four years and it's been a joy for me and it's been great and I'm not like I, I will not say like I'm a pro but it still works great for me so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and if you want personal help from me 
you can support me on patreon and i will guide you through my whatsapp and you can get my whatsapp as well from the patreon and if you need any more technical support you can contact me on patreon and we will discuss it there as well i will make another video on hardware you stay tuned with these videos uh, subscribe the channel like the video and ring the bell so you never miss any update on your hackintosh until the very next video allah hafiz Thank you.